Hi, hope you are doing well. Lot of people are getting benefited from our interview exercise series and I hope you have completed all the exercises. So right now we are into double digit. We are into the 10th exercise. So let's see what is the interesting exercise we have today. All right. So here you have been given the date of birth. So if you see on the image, you are given a date of birth. Okay, which is in string format. Getting it? And March is the month 01, 1991. It's written even in the string way, March, and then this is the format it has been given to you. Okay, 1991. How will you convert it into date type format? So, right now it is in string format. You have to convert that to date type format. I think that looks quite simple and doable. Okay, and then the next question is. Change the year to current year. So right now it's saying 1991 and display this year birth date as the output. For example, for this year, what is the birth date? The birth date should be 03-01-2021, right? This year is 2021. So how will you change only this year from this input? Okay, very, very interesting subject. So let's learn. Okay, if you know what, please uh, try to do, pause the video and try to do it yourself. Uh, and in case you wanted to learn, please continue with me. And once done, please type yes. Okay, once done, once you are, you have learned it, just say yes um, below the comment section. And please do subscribe anyone who is very new to our exercises series. Please do subscribe to our channel for more such contents. Okay, so with that, let's get started. So first of all, let's create a variable, isn't it? So let me use some activity so that will allow me to create a variable. Okay. So here what I'm going, going to do, I will create a variable called DOB. Okay. String. And here I'm going to enter that date, which is March 01, 1991, right? Okay. So I've entered. So my input is ready. After that, what I want, this has to be converted into date time format. Okay. Now to convert it, I need another variable which will hold in date time format. Okay. So I'm saying new DOB. Okay. So I'm saying new DOB because it is going to hold it in date time format. Now to find that, find out that date time data type, all you do is type system dot date. Okay. And there you will find date time done so your variable is created all you need to do is now you have to convert the string to date time to do that first of all i will write it here new dob which is going to hold my data and here in the value let me write so what should i write how will i convert it into so remember for any date time the first thing is your date time this method this is what you will be using date time dot okay and i want to convert so i will use parse and then in the bracket i will provide that input so the input is there in dob which is a string isn't it so you can write this way or you want to write directly even you can write so anything will work even if you write directly march 01 hyphen uh, 1991 even this is going to work all you have to do is end it by a double quote. This is going to work or you can write a variable also. Whatever your choice, you can experiment both of it. So here let me use the variable because I have the variable. Okay. So the DOB variable is containing the string and is going to convert that to date time format. So once you do it, right, uh, as a learner, I have to see how the output is coming. Right. So let me write new DOB. So automatically this message was is going to show me what kind of a output is going to carry. So first of all, we need to remember our input is in this format, right? And our output will now change. So let's run it. Okay. Okay. Very simple. Just by writing date time dot parse and in the bracket providing that input. Okay, it has converted itself. The first one is the month format. That is the US format, right? If you look at your system date and time, you'll find. If it is in month, the same way it will come. So month date, 
year okay and this is the time hour minute and seconds so this has come properly in the date time format now so this is understood okay now the next thing one has to learn and remember whatever new codes or syntaxes you are learning i have been always recommending everyone to keep a separate book or in your book current book in, on in the last or in the beginning leave some four five pages and continue to write your syntaxes only syntaxes nothing else you are not writing anything else just write syntaxes at the end of this exercise you will have a bunch of syntaxes which just by looking at it you will recall what you have you had learned in the past and that will become a very strong knowledge i am telling you this is the tip for the day so ensure you create that separate note okay and then now what is our job our job is to convert that into current year so it should say 03 hyphen 01 hyphen 2021 it has to say or whichever year you will be okay so so to do that i have to use another assign activity and i want another variable to hold it in the new format right so i will create a new variable okay let's create so i will say current dob so current year dob i can say current year dob and you can keep in lower camel case you can see right and see up to you so current year dob all right so this has to be again in date time format so i will select date time okay so once this is done i will write that newly created variable here current year dob so i'm going to put it in a new format now so year is in 1991 right i have to put only this i have to only change this so for this another syntax that you are you have to learn so what is it let me show you and you should make a note okay so first thing you have to say new date time why i'm saying new date time because i have to convert it into a new format new format right so i'm saying this so here it has to be written in year month and time so the new format i have to provide the inputs in year month and time okay so for that what i will do i will write date time dot today if i write date time dot today if you put it in a message box you will see today's date the same format okay if i say dot year so what so you try all this if you wanted to really learn put a, create a message box it's just simply type date time dot today okay what is coming you see then date time dot today dot year what is coming you see so that is how you should experiment okay so i have written date time dot today dot year so this is going to bring up that year which year this year today i am writing so it will come 2021 okay the first input i have given so i said year month and date so i should give the input for the so this is this is new date format okay and in the bracket i am providing one one input first i am writing the year then it has to be month then it has to be date this is the exact format year month date day right so here here i have given the year now i have to provide input of the month so here i want to teach you something what is it your uh, once the string has been converted into date time format new dob is having that date time okay the new dob variable is holding entire date time now the first input year is been given okay i want the second input so for that all you have to write is dob your variable sorry the variable which is containing the date time so new dob dot month so by saying dot month my system is quite slow okay by typing dot month what would happen only from that new date and time format only the month will go into this as a input okay first year went as a input second month is going as a input same way i will pass the so dob dot days date not date day okay so th these are the three things i am 
passing okay these are the three things i am passing new date time date time to the year so i am passing the year from where i am passing this year from the system from your computer to whatever today's date is whatever year it is only pass the year okay comma new dob new dob is nothing but your string has been converted into new dob dot month it is only passing the month then i am passing the day so now what would happen the month and the day is again from the input but the year is coming from the system so now if you put a message box and try to check okay always use a message box or log message just to experiment how the output is coming so here if i type current year dob okay if i'm writing this particular variable and if i run it what would happen it will automatically bring that in the exact format i need okay so the first one mind it the first one is saying 03011991 okay and in the new format it will you will see this the final message box it's showing 0301 okay the month and the date remains the same but the year has changed to 2021 okay so this is a great learning this will be very very useful in the practical scenarios guys okay i hope you have made a note make a note because all of this you will forget tomorrow if i ask you you will not be able to properly recall so i want you to write and keep it so that it will become a bank of knowledge for you i'm telling you this will give you a lot of strength thank you so much for watching we'll come up with the next video bye bye